Hello guys, uh, today in this tutorial we want to install the PHP unit and uh, see how to uh, use the PHP unit for writing uh, unit tests. So it's a simple tutorial, I know that, but I mean some developers struggling with it, some of the maybe junior or mid-level developers struggling with it and they want to know really how to install the PHP unit and how to work with PHP unit. And yeah, let's get use of it. So yeah, the first thing we want to do is going to the PHP unit uh, read, uh, read the tag.io. Uh, you can just search for the PHP unit and that's it. <clears throat> okay, so we have a folder here. The only thing we want is to copy this PHP unit. And we are waiting for cool. installing. So now, <clears throat> yeah, we have it. We have the vendor folder. The only thing we want is to open the folder in PHP Storm. I have a command for it. Uh, I have already defined a command. So when I write open storm uh, PHP unit folder, then it will open the PHP unit in uh, the PHP store. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now we have the PHP store. It's now indexing. All right. So now we have the PHP uh, unit, which has been installed. If you go to the composer JSON, you can see it in the required dev. <coughs> exactly. And we have the vendor folder and the composer log file. So what should we do now to run uh, our first or uh, our uh, uh, unit test? The first thing we need in this directory, we need a PHP unit XML file. So what is the PHP unit XML file? PHP uh, unit actually needs a, a configuration file, so it could run the test based on that configuration file. And where is that configuration file? You can find it in different places. For example, you can go to PHP unit, uh, GitHub, for example, <clears throat> and you can come, um, yeah, phpunit.xml file, which you can see it here, is a configuration file. It has a lot of things here, you can see. And you can copy and paste this and remove the unnecessary stuff. Or you can go, for example, to uh, Laravel GitHub, for example. If you go to Laravel GitHub, Laravel also has also um, a PHP unit XML file, which you can use it to uh, for the bootstrapping the tests. So I will use the Laravel PHP unit uh, configuration file, PHP unit.xml file. I find it uh, much more appropriate for our test here. So I will create a new file, PHP unit.xml. And paste the configuration file. We don't need uh, this uh, variables here, this uh, global variables which PHP is using it. We don't need the filter to. We don't need the the feature because we want only to write the unit. <clears throat> okay, what is test suit? Test suit is somehow telling the PHP unit, hey, you need to go to this directory to run the test. For example. I want to run the unit test from this directory, tests unit. So the first thing I want to create here is the tests folder. Then into this test folder, you should create unit with a camel case directory. And into this unit folder, you need to create a new PHP uh, file, <clears throat> which it ends with test Postfix. So, for example, if you want to test, uh, 
hello world then we add the test to the end of this hello world class then php unit can understand this is a test class this is not a, any other classes so we have created the test class the, only, the first thing we need to do in here is to extend the test case class from the php unit library the second thing we want to do is to write the test which in this case i will write test uh, test i want to write a test to true is equal true very simple unit test which is obvious so uh, on every test you write you should uh, add the prefix test to the test or you can use the actual duck block the duck block uh, you can use the test duck block which in this case no need for add uh, this test prefix in here but we use the prefix test so we want to assert equals true equal true so now if we run this for example i say vendor bean php unit and then we can uh, yeah we can run this that's it one test one assertion and the time and the memory okay and I want to write another test. Test true is not equal false. True is not equal false. As there is not equal false. Okay, and now if you run the test, that's a two test, two assertion. <clears throat> so yeah, we have just wrote our first test. It was really simple. There was no project i just wanted to say that how you can install the php unit how you can use the php unit and now uh, in the next uh, basically episode or lesson we are trying to work uh, on a different assertion and uh, maybe i will use a piece of real project code so we can see it in a real life how to use php unit thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, see you next time.